Thinking out loud, but the bars too willing. Get the bars and fling it. In the mood when you set that rhythm, I quit that kitten and left that smitten. Then when you've been in the bed, man, listen. So how it gets so distant. Hello from Belgrade, guys. Capital city of Serbia. And we're currently just hopped off a bus and we're in the old town area. So yeah, here you got Kalimegdan and see you around. Hi guys, just disclaimer while I'm editing, I just want to say that this day I was extremely sick. So we did our best to record as much as we could and to explore as much as we could. But if there's not that many clips, I do apologize. Enjoy! So the first thing that we did when we got to Belgrade was literally go to Kalmegdan Fort, which is one of the biggest highlights of Belgrade. It's an absolutely beautiful view and in my opinion a great introduction to the city of Belgrade. It's an absolute must-see as there are centuries and centuries of history here. So, at Kalmegdan Fort, which is considered the second largest fort in all of Serbia, it was a very important center for the Slavs to be able to combat the Turkish forces that were coming in. Eventually they ended up losing and that's why Serbia was under Ottoman control for over 400 years, but this fortress dates back almost a thousand years. Not to mention, the incredible view. We ended up walking around for about an hour or an hour and a half and it was really nice. We took our time and the weather was nice. What's really cool to me about Kalmegdan is that a lot of the parts of it seem more like a park and there's people having picnics and there was a wedding going on. It's just a really good place to spend your day and enjoy the time. It's definitely a lot different than other fortresses where you walk in and explore the fortress and leave. This one you could spend your whole day here if you wanted to. to roam outside, man, a while and tired of things to do. Get chills when you're posing nude. What the hell am I supposed to do? I just want to be close right there is where the two biggest rivers in Serbia collide the Dunav and the Sava can't avoid construction though what's interesting about Kalamegdan fortress is that right beside it you have the Belgrade Zoo which is probably the biggest zoo in Serbia and we're gonna go to it right now. Hopefully they got lions and... I'm very excited. I hope there's a yeah. bear. Bear? Yeah. Come all the way from Canada to see bears. Okay, and then we went to the zoo, which is a must-see if you go to Be Belgrade. You can't really miss that. It was really fun. There was a lot of cool animals and this owl was really awesome. Listen to it. I'm sorry, I woke you up. In this next clip, you see us having a conversation. I played a hippo in my fifth grade Christmas carol. I was the hippopotamus and I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. And as fun as the zoo is, there was a lot of walking. So every time there were some cool animals to see or we sat down with them, there was also some construction going on. So some of the animals were moved around. It was a little difficult to find them, but... Here's a, gar a garage, oh my god, a giraffe, which is Medina's favorite, and then we took a selfie. I named this one Karen. And then here's the elephant, which I am pretty sure was Lucas' favorite because he looked for him the entire zoo. <laughs> and then we just started walking around Belgrade, which was really nice. I've been to Belgrade before, but only to go to the airport, so I've never actually walked around, whereas Luca has, so he kind of showed me around and showed me what he knew. But it was so beautiful, and I definitely recommend if you ever come to just walk around. Just walking through Knez Mihailova, which is the main street, and as you can see, they've completely shut it down. Oh, guy, what? Sorry, one second. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is the Republic Square. You could call this downtown Bel Belgrade, but at the same time, we're not in the down dead center of it. Then we went to walk around Skadaria, which is just a vintage street in Belgrade, and it has a bunch of places to sit down. We should have went at night though because it gets a lot more packed and a lot more fun, whereas in the day it was more just relaxed vibes. We're now in Skadarlia, which is called the Bohemian Quarter. Skadarlia. And a lot of people come here to eat and drink, and it's uh, obviously no cars go through this road. It's very old and pretty. These days, Skadarlia is usually presented in tourist publications as a Bohemian district of Belgrade. But in these taverns, the most famous Serbian writers, actors, painters, and all fans of unconventional socializing used to gather with amazing restaurants and food. Speaking of which, our next stop was Hotel Moskva, where we had a Moskva Schnitt cake, tea, and coffee, one of the most iconic hotels in all of Serbia. My grandpa always used to come here every single day as well, so another reason why we came. After a nice stop at the Hotel Moskva for a coffee and a tea, we are now continuing along to St. Mark's Orthodox Church, and then Kram Svetok Save, which is... Which I want to buy a bracelet. Yeah. yeah. How do you... What is that even called in English? Um, Saint Sava. Saint Sava Temple. Yeah. The walk to Saint Mark's Church was actually a really nice walk, and it's not too far from the city center. Maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. When we got there, however, we were astonished by how beautiful it was. And, not to mention that we literally got there five minutes before the dude closed, and he literally closed the door in after us. What's interesting about the church is that Serbian Emperor Stefan Dusan lays here. Now, he was originally buried in prison, but that church got destroyed, and his body laid in shambles in ruins. When he was later discovered, he was taken to Skopje, and then eventually they transported him over here to St. Mark's Church. Well, we literally made it in the last second. He is fully closing the doors behind us. We were the last people to leave. But, wow, look at this. Vibes probably one of the biggest churches I've ever been to. Can you try to sit like that, Marino? <laughs> I can do it. Our next stop after that was the Temple of St. Sava, and once again walking through the main streets of Belgrade, it took us maybe another 15 minutes to reach it. So the Temple of St. Sava or Hram Svetok Save is a church dedicated to St. Sava who is the patron saint and national hero of Serbian people and it is built on the presumed location of his grave. When you walk inside it's almost overwhelming how big and beautiful it is and how much detail is put into the church. This place has been under construction for literally like 400 years and it's still not done. It's made completely out of marble and then all covered in frescoes. I believe it's the biggest um, orthodox church in the whole world. I think there might be one in Russia that's bigger, but don't quote me on that. So the bottom floor is called the crypt. It's like a second smaller church that is intended to be the burial place of earthly remains of Serbian patriarchs. And it's covered in a bunch of beautiful paintings and gold. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go in because it was close, but some lady tried to sneak in. So we followed her down as much as we could. It was still very beautiful to see. And I hope that one day I can come back and actually go explore the mini church at the bottom. But definitely a must see if you're in Beograd. Alright guys, so that is the temple of St. Sava, Kram Svetok Sava in Serbian. And now we're just going to go grab a bite to eat. Marina's pretty tired and I'm feeling it as well. And yeah, that's a day in Belgrade.
wish them it went straight off the road like shit then In the woods man fell like Tristan Been a minute since you've been over Told me to roll now end that soon G That's why I like when you send that to me But you are just trying to bend that booty What's the king meant to do when he thinking of you But he trapped in his palace and pinned to his room Lying to roam outside man a while and a tired of Huge shout out to Gotza and Emil for letting us stay in their apartment in Belgrade And gotta say incredible paintings and house design guys what's the king meant to do when he thinking of you but he trapped in his palace and pinned to his room lying to roam outside man a while and tired of things to do get chills when you're posing new what the hell am i supposed to do i just want to be close to you what am i wearing